Let's pray. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to serve and meet the needs of the people of Pennsylvania. Lord, we do want to pause for a moment and thank you for all those who have served our country and made it possible to enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy each and every day, such as this one. Lord, we thank you, Father, for those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in laying down their lives for us that we might be able to enjoy the blessings of liberty and freedom. Dear Father, I pray today that the cry of our heart would be that of your great servant Moses, who when you used him to bring the children of Israel up out of Egypt, he cried to you and said, if your presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Lord, may we seek your presence today. Lord, your word has told us where there are two or three gathered together in your name that you'll be with us. So Lord, may we follow the biblical directive of trusting in you with all our heart and leaning not to our own understanding. In all our ways, may we acknowledge you and you promise then to direct our paths. Lord, I pray today that you would help us to look past party lines or party views as we seek to be a blessing and help to the people of Pennsylvania and do what is in their best interest. Lord, may our heart's attitude be that of President Abraham Lincoln when he was asked, is God on our side? And President Lincoln replied, the question isn't whether God is on our side, but the question is whether we are on God's side. Lord, I pray that you would help us, Father, to by thy grace to do all that would honor and glorify you. Lord, we pray for your watch care over this chamber today, over each and every one who is here. And Lord, we pray you bless them as they move forward with the business of Pennsylvania. And Lord, we give you all the honor and glory for truly thou art worthy. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I rise to introduce our guest chaplain, Pastor Michael Hopkins from New Freedom Baptist Church. A Southern York County native, Pastor Hopkins graduated from Bob Jones University in South Carolina, where he received an associate degree in ministerial training. Ordained in 1995, Pastor Hopkins continued his education and received a bachelor's degree in Bible from the Luther Rice Seminary in Atlanta, Georgia in 2003. Throughout the years, Pastor Hopkins has taught at Christian schools, was an administrator for 16 years, and pastored churches in Delaware before coming home and settling at New Freedom Baptist Church in 2017. Leading several ministries, New Freedom Baptist Church provides opportunities to serve the Lord as its congregants minister to others. Their ministries aim to evangelize, disciple, and enlighten those in the church and the community. Seated on the floor with Pastor Hopkins is his lovely wife of 33 years, Shelley Hopkins. Thank you, Pastor Hopkins, for blessing the Senate with your meaningful prayer today. Would my colleagues please join me in welcoming today's guest chaplain, Pastor Michael Hopkins, and his wife, Shelley, to the Senate of Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mr. President. Would the guests of Senator Phillips Hill please rise and be welcomed by the Senate. 